everyone, welcome to another Average Angler video. What weight do you think it will take to bottom this elastic out? You know, how strong do you think a size 11 Dura Slip hybrid elastic is? Uh, what sort of force does elastic apply when you pull, when it's pulling? So stay tuned if you want to find out how strong this elastic actually is. So from this, from this experiment, we're trying to find out two things. Number one, does the elastic linear, as in, does it get harder to stretch it more that you stretch it or does it stay the same i expect once we get towards the limit of its stretch at the six or seven then it will get harder but that might just be because we're stretching it beyond its normal limits but in this normal range of sort of i want to say sort of one to four maybe five times its length does it stay the same or does it get harder and harder and power up as some people talk about elastics powering up but is that a thing or is that just in your head and the second thing is what's the you know we've got a num we've got a size 11 elastic here how much force does that actually apply to the fish? How are we going to measure that force? We're going to use this. This is a set of scales, spring balance that goes from naught to one kg, and it does so in 20 gram intervals. So I'm using 10 as my zero, because it's easier. And as you can see there, 20, there's no force. So I want to go to 25, which is 250 mil, at 150 mil in total length, which is there. And I want to look at the, I want to have a look at the, um, scales and it's saying almost almost 100 grams i'm going to go for 100 grams okay what's it going to take to make, to stretch it another 50 millimeters is it is it going to be 100 grams? I don't think so, but will it? Start again, get on there. So now we've got 200 as our start point. We need to go 100 grams, so we need to stretch out to the 300 point, which is there. Let me closer look at that. I'm going to give that 160, I think. Oh, no. Now I've looked at it from a different angle. I'm going to give it 140. Okay, and we're going to repeat again. We're going to hold the scale. Check again that I've got that nicely on the zero there, yeah, 100, 200, 300, 450. And that is showing the same. That is showing the same, that is showing 300. A little wiggle, make sure nothing's got stuck, I'm going to do it again. 100, 200, 300, 400, 450. It's the same. That's the same. Put a question mark there. I don't understand that. Right, one, let's try the 500 gram. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. That is also showing the same. If I go 100, 200, 300, 400, back to 400 where we were before, that's showing 300. The 350. It's showing 310, but I can, I can see it creeping back. I want to show you this close up because this is interesting. So we've got to something interesting. And let me show you again what we're dealing with here. The knot here, it cannot slip. It's not a knot. It's not tied onto the, the elastic is not tied onto the dacron, or the braid. It's looped on and it's gripped on a knot. 
if the knot slipped, there's no, there's nowhere for the knot to slip to, it'll just come undone. Same at this end. Well, we're dealing with braid, so we've connected the, the elastics with braid, so there's no stretch whatsoever. So let me show you what's happening. So I'm going to go 200, 300, 400, 400 we get 300 grams that's what we had last time and this time at 400 yeah there we we're there 400 there we're getting um just under we're getting 290 so it's fair enough repeat now if i go another 50 now if i go another 50 mil you can see that we have actually added a little bit of weight but can you see it creeping back i'll zoom in with the camera but that is creeping back to 300 so when i initially stretched it it added another 20 grams or so now it's crept back to 300 so if i now stretch to the next marker which is 500 so now 500 mil long it's just in shot there the scales it's showing 350 grams i'm just going to hold it still for a second because you very very subtle but there it's just done it there and it's creeping back now and i'm not moving it but what's happening is it's getting weaker because it's been, as it's been stretched for any amount of time. So it started at 350, it's now on 340, getting on for 330. I'm just holding it there and I'll speed this pro I'll speed it up on the camera if I need to. I'm gonna now stretch to six to five fifty. Uh, a shot so you can't see what's happening but it has gone up to 500 i'm going to re i'm going to reposition that so that you can see it it's just gone off the end there a little bit excuse all the mess in the background so that's one two three four five Five fifty grams there. Four hundred and forty at the moment. But you can see slowly see that creeping back now. It's nearly on four twenty. I'm hoping if I zoom in on the camera, you'll pick it up. So what's happening? What is going on with this elastics? What's happening? Is once you get to sort of four or five times the stretch of this elastic, you create you must be damaging the elastic, changing its properties, or somehow it's fatiguing, and suddenly it it just starts to give a bit more and give a bit more. The elastic, yes, it stretches because we've just done it in our hands. It will stretch to six or seven times its own length. But wouldn't you stretch this elastic over five times its own length or up to five times its own length? You're definitely starting to damage it, which is why these elastics stretch all the time and you're constantly like having to tighten them back up again and tighten them back up again all elastics do it and hybrids do it as well i mean it's come to the point now where i've realized i can't really measure accurately anything past sort of what is it four four times i've got to 400 and when i've gone to 450 so once i've gone just over four times its own length it's telling me it's the same amount of stretch power and it can't be because i've actually added some distance with my hands but what's happened is it's damaged the elastic and so it, it's got weaker so it's gone down a grade essentially it's not not a grade because that's quite a big jump but it's gone down a little bit in its, in its overall rating so let's have a look at a matrix one and just make sure because i've done this twice with preston ones not because i'm picking on preston just because i use preston so i'm most interested in preston i just want to see if the matrix one gives us the same result 1.8 again the same size as the uh preston one so it's light for light. Now I've already tested these elastics against one another light for light. And I know that the matrix one is a stronger grade, even though they're the same diameter or st same stage of diameter on the packet. You might be able to pick it up on there. They're not actually the same diameter. The matrix one you can see is slightly bigger anyway. So it's going to give us slightly stronger scores. 
in my opinion i haven't tried it yet but i just want to see what happens if we get down to the sort of 400 four times original length or 400 mil see how we get on i'm going to do exactly the same so the experiment's as fair as it can be we we'll start at the 10 and go 50 mil and that's 110 grams i would say so slightly stronger than the preston as i Perspective. And then we're going to go 200ml. close together though aren't they these two are exactly the same these two are quite close together so let's see what happens when we go to 500 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. now it's happening again it started to be nearly 500 now it's creeping back yeah so the same thing's happening again when we get to 500 on this one so I'm going to show you again on the camera so here we are again I'm going to set up a bit closer to have a look at where the business end is i've got the matrix elastic and i'm holding it on the on the 100 mil mark on the on the rule that's be, that's my zero so if i stretch this to 600 on the elastic which you can just see in the left hand side of the shot there that's 500 mil original length now if you quickly flick your eyes back to where the weight is it's already saying it's 420 grams And yet it was 420 grams when we were here at the 550. Now we're at five. Uh, now we're at the 450. Now it's saying it's 340, which takes us right back down to somewhere for the 350. So that's 100 mil less of extension. So if I quickly pull this out to 60 again, you can see now it's doing it this time. Look, it's gone. Ah, oh, yes. A bit more, but watch it creep back. Trying not to move anything, little sort of movements because I'm not a human being there. Did you see it jump? It's creeping back from where it was. Let's see if I can add another 50 mil. So we'll go 550. We can still keep that in shot. So 550. Oh, and he literally saw it jump there. So it's over 500 now because we're getting to bottoming out the elastic so it starts to go up quick. Creeps back, there it is, creeping back, creeping back. So it definitely gets weaker the more you stretch it now. That wasn't a long amount of time that I had that stretch for. You could certainly be playing a fish for that amount of time and you're trying to blooming land the thing and unless it's getting weaker on you. Very interesting. I've now proved my point across the two what I would call biggest brands in fish in match fishing, which is Preston and Matrix. I don't think there's any bigger brands sales wise, maybe Guru. I tried their hybrid, I don't have to do a hybrid, but it'll be the same. Just a quick one. These this was definitely exactly a hundred mil long from the inside of the knot to the inside of the knot when I started because I spent a lot of time getting it right. And already what you can see happening there, I'd say just as the tension comes into it there, we're looking at 44 mil long. So it's it's got it's four mil longer than it was. And that's what I think we're watching here. We're watching the elastic stretch. I don't know if you can if you can take all of the stretch out of it. Maybe I'm going to pre-stretch some bits and try again. See what we get with the pre-stretch bit. So what I'm going to do is use this piece of elastic and I'm going to put a new knot in it. And I'm going to take it back to 100 mil. I'm going to repeat the test with stretched elastic that's 5% stretched. And see, just see, if, see what happens. We've done Preston, we've done Matrix, we've now stretched the Matrix almost sort of five percent its original length shortened it back to 100 mil so it's the same experiment so we've now got a piece of pre-stretched matrix does stretching it make a difference to anything
Now we're going to 450. So are we going to have the problem? What's going to happen now? Are we going to get the issue again? Well, when we go to 500, one. Two, three, four, five hundred. Sitting at four ten or twenty maybe. It's creeping back to four again now. It's definitely still creeping back. So once these elastics get stretched to a certain point, they just seem to lose their power if they're held at that stretch for any amount of time. Now I don't know whether this is unique to hybrids or whether or not it's the same with hollows. I'm going to have a look through my stash of elastics and see if I've got an old hollow lying around and we will see if it repeats with a hollow. So as luck would have it, I've gone through my little stash and I've found a bag of this. It's a product made by Mazella UK. I've only got it in this size, which seems like it's the same size as the hybrids, but it's not because it's a, it's a lot lighter than the hybrids, so 5 to 8. So it, it would have been nice to have the same rating, but it doesn't really matter. I've got 100 mil exactly, just like we have been doing. Let's see what we get. So we'll go straight to the 50. This elastic now appears to be doing the same. You get to here, and it was showing 230, and it's now back to 200. Right, guys, I'll set you up again so you can see what's going on. I'm starting this time from the zero on the on the rule. But if I pull it out now to the 700, so it's That's 700, you watch that now as I hold it. That's me. See it there, creep back. Oh, look at this, I've dropped it back to 650 and it's 200 grams on the scales. Now 200 grams on the scales before was like 350 to 400. No, it's just lost all its strength. And then you bring, put 650 back on and it's back up to 300 again. So this, you ever seen people when they're playing fish and they drop the pole and they bring it back up and they think it makes a difference and, you, and you're just laughing at them thinking it doesn't make a difference. I just proved it there, look. Right guys. We've got the elastic, we set at zero, and I'm going to pull it out to 650. So we're 650 mil there, and you can see straight away we're on just under 300. And look at it, it's creeping back already. It's crept to the other side of 300 already. We were just over 300, now we're just under 300. And it's creeping back, now it's 280, nearly. And it's definitely getting weaker while it sits here. Now if I drop the, if I slacken the elastic off and then pull it back out again to 650, it's stronger again. It's 400 now. But here it goes slowly creeping back again. See now it's on 480 and it's getting weaker and weaker. Just move a little bit then, that's me shaking. Drop it back down. It can totally slack off, pull it back out to 650 again. Come back up to 400 again. This is strange. Now imagine before, you know, this is the force that's being applied. This is being measured by a, a device. So it's not telling us lies. And if all of a sudden that fish pulled hard, then it slack them back off. Look how much weaker you put on it. Elastic's not functioning how we think elastic is functioning. It's not as straightforward as you think it is.